Hello, my lovely people. My name is Nisha Kalima, actress, producer, writer, and this is my story. I got into this industry young and green about so many things, almost everything about it. I didn't know any at all. I remember when I was in high school, I had a um, friend. She gets a call that there was a movie audition something somewhere. So she asked me to tag along. Ruben. Who went there? Of course, I know I'm not going to audition. I already knew Ugandan movie industry. Well, by then, it wasn't where it is now. So we get there, she auditions, and the director is like, why don't you audition as well? Yeah, you look the part. I'm like, hmm, me? No way. <laughs> Not in a million years. After some time, like six months, I can't get hold of my friend because she's busy with those rehearsals, they shoot this, shoot that. So I find myself back into their rehearsals because of her. And I, one time I took a shot. I decided to audition again because the guy asked again. So I'm like, okay, no worries. I'll audition. I did and I got the role, that very role. That's when it hit me, that I can actually do this. I can be serious about this. I can make a living out of this. I think that's when I wanted to, to be in this industry, that moment. Some of the great projects I've worked on. I started with Hang for Love. Oh, please, Steve, I'm not trying to buy you. Now, my heart and passion can't win you. Then I did It Can't Be Serious. I did Girls About Town. I did The Only Son. I acted in Freedom, Veronica's Wish. It opened worlds for me, made me meet stars. All my dreams came true with Veronica's Wish. I think I'll jump to JDC. All our childhood experiences, I get to relive them in a project. She's so sweet, so amazing. Oh, she's a fantastic child, very smart. Why now? She should have started school a long time ago. I can't even believe in this day and age we're still talking about sexual harassment here and there. Characters thinking and expecting special privileges simply because they're giving you roles. Simply because I said yes to your project, it doesn't give you the right to touch me or even insinuate anything. And you shouldn't blacklist me for that. You shouldn't be talking to other people. She's, she's complicated, I'm not. I just know my worth. Our people need to be educated about these things for, in order for this industry to grow. Otherwise, to get a Some of the achievements I've achieved in this game. I've won Best Actress Awards at Uganda Film Festival three times. Best Scriptwriter, twice one for your faith and then one for peace film of the year twice i've experienced those things because of film what can be done to reduce foreign content on our channels first of all we need to produce good work because the, the audiences we are producing for now they can differentiate between good and bad we don't have the right schools for our talents. Because even the film schools we have, there are certain things they don't cover. To them, acting doesn't exist. And acting hires the most number. You find two DOPs on a project, you're going to find like 500 actors. How are they going to get to their maximum potential if they're not skilled? If only the government or whoever is in charge of uh, setting up these uh, syllabuses. Put that in mind that now people are joining uh, the industry from all over the place, from different career backgrounds. So if you're trying to employ more, we need to skill more. Let the child from the word go knows like, you know, like me, I'm going to be a writer. Me, I'm going to be uh, a presenter. Me, I'm going to be an actress. I'm going to be a director. Because filmmaking is no longer a hobby. It's a job. It's hiring thousands, if not millions, of Ugandans now. To my understanding, those three things, if maybe they are tackled, this can become a bigger, bigger industry for all of us.